Welcome to PostgreSQL Functions for Manipulating Data. My name is Brian Piccolo, and I am a Senior Director of Digital Strategy. I will be your instructor for this course. You've learned some SQL fundamentals in your previous coursework. Now we are going to continue to expand your SQL knowledge by teaching you how to use built-in functions and operators to extend the capabilities of your PostgreSQL database. You'll be using the Sequila database, which is a well-known example database that models a fictional DVD rental store. The database is highly normalized, which allows for great example queries and provides a great representation of PostgreSQL data types and custom functions. Before we get started, let's review the topics that will be covered in this course. First, in this chapter, you'll learn about some common data types and their properties and characteristics. Next, you'll dive into some built-in functions and operators and learn how to use them to manipulate date and time data. You'll then explore some frequently used functions for parsing and manipulating text data types. And finally, you'll get an introduction into full text search using PostgreSQL extensions. Let's get started. PostgreSQL has a robust set of native data types. Some of the most common include text data types like char, varchar, and text, numeric data types like int and decimal, date and time data types such as date, timestamp, and interval, and finally, arrays. It's important to have an understanding of the properties and characteristics of the various data types anytime you are working with a relational database like PostgreSQL. Text data types like char and varchar allow for a fixed or varying number of characters and string data. Think about categorical data like the title column from the film table. Text data types typically represent character and string data, but can be an unlimited length. For example, the text from the description column in the film table. We'll explore how to extract, create substrings, and manipulate text data types later on in this course. Numeric data types, like int and decimal, allow you to store integers like payment ID and floating point numbers with varying precisions like amount from the payment table. We'll learn more about PostgreSQL date and time and array data types later in this chapter. When you are working with existing databases, there will be times when you will need to determine the data types of columns that you'll be working with. For example, if we look at the results from a simple select query on the film table, you might hypothesize that all the columns in this query have a text data type. But would you be right? Let's take a closer look. PostgreSQL stores information about all database objects in a system database called Information Schema. By querying certain tables in this database, you can determine information about the database, including data types of columns. The following query will return the column name and the data type for the columns we looked at in the previous slide. When you execute this query, you will get a result that looks like the following. If we look closely at these results, we see that the title and description columns are indeed text data types, specifically varchar and text. But we see that special features is actually an array. You'll learn more about arrays later in this chapter. Now it's your turn. Let's take a closer look at the customer table of our DVD rental.